try that in a small town see how far you make it down the road <laughs> guys guess what we have a very fast white woman that is defending jason alden's song try it in a small town so this is the why it's surprising because this is the first time i'm seeing of uh, what i was seeing before now was people castigating him mostly white that were coming against him for doing a racist song that apparently is not racist so i don't know where they are getting it from so oh, let's just watch um you know hear what she has to what she has got to say so wow shabam you're finding out who your friends are you find out who your friends are yeah come on so here's the deal so let's just just jump into it um all of this bs about jason aldean's uh, music uh video is just that it's a bunch of crap okay so i'm just going to dive into it uh there's a lot of different points to talk about with this because it's not just about censorship it's first not of all guys i love her sound and said like i love 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 it it's not just about uh cancel culture it's not just about um what all is going on but what it is also is a moment for you to look around and to see what's going on if you're not in the united states you're over in the uk uh, you're in Canada, you're down in uh, Puerto, uh, Puerto Rico, or down in Venezuela, or wherever you are. I hope you are seeing what we're Africa. talking about here, because we understand, the majority of Americans understand that we are not being represented. In fact, we are being lied to, we've been lied to, and to mm. further that, you're being lied to as True. well. All the hot mess that you're seeing over here in the United States, the majority of Americans are not for it, okay? Mm, it is so a complete and total lie, okay? What you're seeing in Jason Aldean's video, if you've watched it, if you've listened to the lyrics to the song, which by the way, it is true, the song was released like well over two months ago. We've been listening to, I've been listening to it on the radio. So I'm, I was like, oh, there's a video out now. And now there's all this hoopla. Well, you're a little bit late, sweetheart. And of <laughs> course you are because you have to make something out of nothing. Mm. The reality here is that Jason Aldean's song and video absolutely speaks to and for and represents the heartbeat of the good people of this country. Mm. We have some serious extremists that literally are trying to do everything they can to go along with a lot of extremists globally and completely tear down this country because here's the bottom line. This is, this is, this is the bottom line. When the United States falls, when and if the United States falls, the rest of the world goes, goes with us. True, true. There's no turning back. There is no other refuge. There is no other place to go. So regardless of who you are or where you are, I'm telling you right now, that is a bona fide fact. And you know it too. You all know it too. I don't have to tell this audience. So um, here's the deal. I'm a huge Jason Aldean fan. I uh, have been for many, many years. I've even seen him in concert. He was fantastic. And I uh, highly recommend you make it to a show. Um, I think that it's very important for us to realize um, that there, um, people are not going to be silent anymore. I don't know. Uh, I he and his wife... Uh, Miss Brittany haven't really been silent anyway, but they've taken a lot of heat for literally speaking the truth. Uh, and um, this is all the things that we're seeing. Here is what you're seeing now, though. Um, all this crap is clearly being tried in and on, a, on all of the small towns of America. And uh, you're seeing what you're going to get mm -hmm. because the people aren't going to stand for it. Mm -hmm. Now, where does this where does this head down the road for many other things that I think that we're going to face? I don't know. This is why I encourage you every single day to be as fit as you can, to be as debt free as you can, to be as solid as you can. Get right with God. Oh, my goodness. And to prepare your home and your children mm -hmm. because the battle is on. And it's a battle that's raging every single day. Yeah. We could debate that this is somewhat of a distraction. It is if you allow it to be, but mm -hmm. I think it's a very important teaching moment here. Mm. This is where the rubber meets the road. In terms of country music, um, you may or may not know that I spent quite a bit of time in Nashville. Um, even after I was married, we lived there. I did a lot of demo work. I worked with Hallmark Productions, uh, with Capitol Records. Um, I actually did demos for Ronnie Millsap, Millsap and Galbraith. Uh, 
production company. I did actually, I actually did sing, you know, Kevin Bacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Footloose. Yes, yes, yes. Well, he, he and his brother were major songwriters back in the day. And I was, uh, I did demos for, I did a demo for them. Um, did demo at the, at, uh, the Grand Ole Opry. Um, did a lot of singing. I won't go into all the details. It's a whole lot more than that. But I really, really did. And, um, you know, I was homesick and came back to East Tennessee. And, you know, I was faced with a situation where um, something tested my morality. And I had to say, no, I'm not going to do that. Mm. Um, I don't I don't agree with that. I'm mm. a married woman, mm. even though I was very young and I really wanted to be successful in singing. Um, I wasn't going to mm. do things that other people were doing. Mm. Now that's everywhere, okay? That's in the music industry, that a lot of things have happened for a very long time, nobody's debating that. But the country music and the industry that you're seeing today is very different than what you saw even, gosh, 10 years ago, mm. okay? Uh, 20 years ago, for sure. Um, again, nothing's ever perfect, but my point is, is the culture is very different. Somebody was asking me the other day, I said, have you ever been to Tennessee? And then she said, well, I went to Nashville for a couple of days. I said, so you really haven't visited Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> now you folks that are living out in Nashville and you're ultra conservative, you probably actually don't live too much in the city. You might live South, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe a little bit North into Kentucky or I don't know, but you know exactly what I'm saying. Uh, it's just like Memphis and Chattanooga and downtown Knoxville. Um, folks, anytime you get into the heartbeat of these cities, nowadays they have been literally infiltrated uh and uh are ran by a bunch of crazy town um mm -hmm. and this is clearly an agenda happening within the uh music industry as well so when it hits home with country music which it has been for a while um i've actually stopped listening to a lot of country music over the mm -hmm. past couple of years because i think that we had a lot i think that we do have and they're exposing themselves very quickly um we have a lot of um wolves in sheep's clothing. Mm. They'll sing about Jesus on one hand, mm. but then they go and collaborate with the freaks of America and sing about rainbows. And then you're left to go, wait a minute, what is going on here? Exactly. People that you've been listening it to, defies. people that you have loved, people that you have paid to see in concert, people that you have uh, been to their, maybe you've been to their bars or maybe you've been to their theme parks. All of these things and above, they're not what you thought that they were. Mm you know, from 10 years ago, 20 years ago, growing up your whole life. Let the veil fall. They're mm. showing who they are. Mm. And the ones that are not standing up for people like Jason Aldean at this moment are just as guilty. So you're gonna know who they are. They're all gonna reveal themselves, mm. okay? There's absolutely nothing wrong with his song. There is nothing racial nothing. in that song. Um, I actually think that it is an absolute slam and um, an insult to um, particularly any of our, the minorities in this country blacks, natives, whoever, pick one. Because I can tell you right now, I know a lot of people uh, that uh, um, are very different than me. And uh, we may not even completely agree on certain things if you really fundamentally get down to it. That's normal, that's good. That's why we love this country. But when it comes to destruction, when it comes to violence, when it comes to, you know, literally like, you know, the you know, beating down an old lady on the street, all the things that we're seeing now, mm -hmm. which are absolutely being encouraged because that's chaos and that's uh, divide and conquer mm -hmm. right in front of your face. Mm -hmm. um, I think that basically if, if, if you're a minority, I think that you should be insulted because there is nothing racial in that song. Exactly. No. I'm sorry, Preach. there's not, Preach. there's not, there's absolutely not. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, I think that it's really a shame to insinuate that, you know, people that are, well, let's just say it, black or whatever, that they're not going to want to take care of their families and their home and their hometown and their place. Who in their right mind wants all of this crap um, tearing down their small towns, big towns, big cities? Mm. Who actually wants that? You've got to be sick if you do. And we all know sure. this. Absolutely. There's, it's just ridiculous. All, all, every single bit of it. It's evil total evil and it's then being manipulated and turned around and flipped on good people like me and you you see because what's been happening over the last three to four years especially is if you stand up for this country if you stand up for freedom if you stand up for the fact that everyone matters if you stand up against your personal you know you have the right to make the decisions on what you want to do with your health and so many other various topics well then you're this and that and the other 
See, mm. that's a control method right there. Mm. Absolutely, 100% mm. mm. all done by design. Mm. I will further add that clearly there's a lot of people that did not grow up in a small town, whether it's down here in Appalachia in the South or whether it's in the Midwest or wherever. Folks, I'm gonna tell you what, you can talk against being tribal and tribalism in a sense. I get that. I think we should all be very um, supportive of each other, okay? And we were once that nation. We were once those people. Don't you remember what we felt like and what we did the weeks after the day and weeks after 9-11? I'm not getting into the minutia of what we think about 9-11. I'm talking about the American spirit, the real people, the true people. We didn't want to fight each other. We didn't want to fight at all. We wanted to literally stand our ground for protecting what is ours, okay? We didn't want to get in the minutia of fighting with each other, fighting with this or that. And I can tell you right now, I'm going to admit this to you, I was absolutely not for at all sending troops over to Iraq. I, I actually was very much against it. Somebody said to me the other day, they're like, well, you're just a Republican. Actually, no, but okay. Um, and uh, that, you know, all you do is want war anyway. And it's okay if you guys want war, but it's not if the Democrats want war. I don't want anybody to want war. I think mm. that's sick. I think you have to take care of business. I think you have to protect your own, but I want our people here. I want our troops here. I want our country solid here. So you obviously, uh, for who, the, for the person that said that, you've really taken a lot of people out of context and, uh, and misunderstood because I'm gonna tell you right now, I know a lot of conservative people and I don't know the first one that's for war. I really don't. I'm telling you the honest to God truth. But here's the deal. Don't get distracted by all of these social stunts that are happening. Uh, and they're, they're happening on purpose because see, while we're fighting about Jason Aldean and standing up for him, which we should, don't take me the wrong way, but what this should never be happening. And the reason it's happening is because it is a distraction. Mm. But take your test. Watch who's standing up. Watch who's willing to defend what's right watch who's willing to defend you in your small town versus not there's a lot more here to learn than just the hoopla of okay well let's cancel bud light let's cancel target let's cancel cmt i think you have the right to do what you feel you need to do and i encourage you to do so because i don't think anybody needs to be silent anymore but what i'm saying is don't take your eye off the ball mm. these things are distractions mm. and they're going to continue to happen mm. Does that make sense? Yes, so do what's right. Absolutely. Mm. Don't be silent. Mm. But mm. then get back to what you need to be taken care of because this mm. is showing you exactly the times that we are in. It is showing you who people are. When they show you who they are, you better mm. believe them. Mm -hmm. They're, it's right here. In front, everything's in front of your mm -hmm. face. Mm -hmm. From all of your influences, from your friends and family, even your church. If, if people in your mm -hmm. church and mm -hmm. your church mm -hmm. pastors and your leaders are mm -hmm. not standing up for this country and for people to be prepared and for people to get right with God and for people to repent and accept Jesus into their lives and hearts and, and to, to literally cry out for salvation. Folks, I'm telling you right now, you're not where you need to be. You may mm -hmm. disagree. Mm -hmm. That's all right. That's all right. Here we speak our, our we speak our truth here. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the truth. So don't get wrapped around the axle too hard with all of these. Every day you're getting T-boned with something. But I'll tell you what. The people that have lived in small towns, like I was saying, whether it is... Look here, I've got a visitor. Whether it is Midwest, whether it is you know here in Tennessee, regardless. No, we're going to take care of our own. We always have. You always have. Be very proud of that and don't stop. But at the same time, like I said, and I'll, I will uh, close it out. Don't get wrapped around the axle too hard. Take these as learning moments, educational moments for you and your family. Realize these are moments for you to see exactly who people are and what people stand for. Mm -hmm. You're gonna find out if you haven't already. Your, your circle is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Mm. That's a shoe. It is. You are being pulled from the world because you are evaluating exactly what it is. Mm. And it's not the one we knew mm -hmm. growing up. It's totally different now. And we have to stand up for what's right because ultimately it is our, meaning yours and mine, our children's future. Mm is completely on the line. Mm.
guys i i personally do not have anything to add to what she has said like she has said it more there's so much lesson that is embedded here so i want to employ everyone to just take out time and soak it all in digest it and figure out what you need to do next don't just be in a haste to jump on to the next thing like seriously we are in because we are at a very pivotal moment in life like size people are already choosing size and you have to decide decide your own and i pray you choose the right side so let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section and of course don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel take care of yourself guys and be good stand up stand up for the right thing bye guys